Hey everyone, this is Zethrion here from the Floating City server on Langrisser C. I'm from the Guild Legion of Scorn and we're gonna be doing our SS level timeless trial. So let's just dive in. Um, the first trial has a time law that mages, demon, uh, mage, demon and holy units have an uh, increased attack and defense. Uh, and that should hopefully work out well for us since our tank is led in, who is obviously a holy unit. Oh, sorry. Let me just give him an accessory or this is going to be a very, very short attempt. He, I took off his uh, king's amulet um, for PvP. I gave him an overlord instead and um, that's why his stats were so low. So let's try that again. Okay, so uh, a very straightforward map. The only problem is that the vast majority of the enemies are actually ranged and they hit really hard with an attack value of 1100 and defense values of 600. So again, these are the inflated timeless trial stats I was talking about in the previous video. Um, so we shall uh, attempt to make things, uh, the, do things the conventional way. Um, <coughs> I'm planning to tank with Ledin. Uh, we're gonna move left, um, maybe into the forest if need be. There's a lot of space to retreat. We really don't want to fight everyone at the same time. Uh, there are only two melee mobs, the Cyclops, which of course, sorry, the Orc, uh, which will be the number one priority, sorry, number two. I'm going to kill the Assassin General first and then we're going to kill the Cyclops and hopefully we can do uh, those with uh, Leon with uh, attack blessing from Tiaris and then after that we get the strat buff from Altin Muller. So how far can Ledin run? <coughs> Unfortunately not that far. Um, the Leviathan should still be able to reach us with um, Tidal Surge, unfortunately. I, I don't think the Assassin can because he doesn't have Cold Steel. This Leviathan is probably out of range if you run everyone away. And, um, yep, so we're just worried about this Leviathan. I think Ledin should be able to tank one hit from this Leviathan just fine. So let's go. Um, I have to think about where Tiaris ends up because I want her to give Ledin uh, healing light but I also want her to give Leon um, an attack blessing. So I have to move Ledin here, I think. Let's see how far this Leviathan can reach and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh, that's really nasty. Um, I think if I move Tiaris here, he should not be able to reach me. Uh, yeah. Ultimo is gonna faction buff up Leon. Oh, I blocked myself. Great. Okay, I'm sorry if this takes a few restarts. Um, SS is always a pain here uh, in the butt. Oh, great. Now you give me unrestricted movement. Just, just great. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, strat buff up. Leon moves up, and I think I'm gonna assault the assassin to try to guarantee the kill, and we do guarantee the kill. Fantastic. One, two, three. Liana will move there, so one, two, three, four, five. That's maximum charge distance for the Cyclops. That's just nice. So we're gonna kill the Cyclops so that Ledin doesn't get hammered by the infantry attack which will of course kill off a crap ton of his um, phalanx troops and then we have everyone under Ledin's... oh we don't, great. Liana's unfortunately still vulnerable, okay. So Leviathan shoots um, Altimula instead. That's good actually, but I think Liana's gonna die. Yeah, she is. So, 
Oh, she's not. Fantastic. Okay, um, so Liana's obviously going to run away. And uh, heal herself. She can pray her, but I don't think that's going to be very useful. Legend's going to Divine Guard up. So who can we actually attack? Um, this doesn't look good, actually. Uh, so Legend's going to run away and apply Divine Guard here. Maximum distance covered. Um, Tiaris is going to Miracle everybody. And the problem with attacking with Ultimate Alert is I will basically be fishing for a Gale. Um, because otherwise, he will be in range of the Assassin and the Leviathan, and that's just going to end up as a dead Ultimate Alert, so I'm going to have to retreat him away. So as usual, the lame way of doing this is with Leon, hit and run attacks with Chivalry Assault. I don't expect to kill a Leviathan, not with 800 defense, but at least, at least we weaken him significantly such that Ledin doesn't have to tank that many attacks. <coughs> okay, that should be good enough. The healing light should be good enough, yes. So we have a full restoration of health. Fantastic. Okay, so we're doing good. Uh, the Merman is closing up on us. I think we still need to play for time. Um, Terrain-wise... Probably want to go down. Yeah. I'm going to do something crazy and uh, probably hit the assassin. Mm. The problem with using Ultimate to attack is that the archer is a threat. So is the merman. Can he reach? Did he use his title search? Uh, is this the place to make our stand? <laughs> so epic. Sounds so epic when you say it that way. Perhaps I was a bit hasty in running Ultimola away. So I'm gonna see how things play out when I attack Ultimola. Okay. And then we're going to hit the Leviathan here. Very nice, almost dead. Um, so that that means that I should have led in over there to try to cover for uh, Ultimola. So let's retract our decision to retreat. I will be brave and fight. I don't think he needs the attack. So, yeah, there we go. Ledin's gonna stand here, provide his protective aura. And we're gonna hit the Leviathan again. Of course, we already knew that wasn't gonna kill. So, back up for maximum charge distance. I don't think they will hit um, Leon. Not with two juicy healers here to hit. Um, the Assassin does have an Ignore Guard skill. But, come what may. Oh, he hits uh, Altimuda instead. So, so much for that maneuvering with led in to, you know, uh, to uh, protect Altimuda. So much for that. <laughs> Life's funny sometimes. Life's funny. Kill Assassin, kill Archer, and then tank the Leviathan and the Merman. That's the plan. How shall we execute it? Who is of higher priority? Probably the assassin because of attack break. Um, or should it be the archer? <sighs> Let's retreat. I seem to be doing that a lot. Okay, you're gonna attack blessing. Okay. 
great. All right, okay, good. A crit, a crit definitely helps. Um, I'm gonna heal up Leon, and we're gonna crash into the assassin with all possible fury with attack blessing. Of course, the attack break must proc, right? You know. No critical hit so far, and all the attack breaks are procking. Okay, let the tank sit like a boss. Oh dear. Okay, he hits Leon because he's a melee character, so far so good. Leon tanks, uh, Ledin tanks like a boss again. Merman comes forward and hits Ledin, who should be able to survive, I hope. Okay, great, he survives. So that's all we, we, we want in life. <laughs> um, I think the assassin is the greater threat, mainly because he's weaker. Sorry, uh, he has uh, skills that are actually threatening. So I'm going to kill him off with chivalry first. We don't have again from Liana, unfortunately, because we just used it last turn. So we're just going to buckle up and pray for the best. Heal up Ledin. We neutralize the archer such that she won't prevent Ledin from applying his faction buff on himself, as I'm doing now. And Diana is just gonna stand here, and we're all gonna hope for the best that Ledin survives. But he already survived uh, a hit each from these two enemies, so I don't foresee any issues this round. It's not very glamorous, but unfortunately, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so we have the full brunt of Chivalry Assault on an uh, Aquatic General who does not have his Tidal Surge buff anymore. And of course, Leon is just failing to one hit. Um, nevertheless, uh, Ledin should take care of it with his Divine Guard this turn. And next turn, we just mop up the, the Leviathan. There we go. There we go. No threat there. Okay, Aquatic General's down. Now to finish off the Leviathan with Leon. Let's go. Alright, so SS1 is down. That uh, took a lot more time than I anticipated. <laughs> It looked rather straightforward on first glance, but you know, as usual, SS and inflated stats, so... Okay, so when battling against mages, holy units, and demons, all stats increase by 50%. Um, let's see what the map looks like. So that does not bode well for Ledin, obviously, because um, the hero actually decides what kind of units... Um, what kind of unit the overall uh, combination is, so that will make... Uh, everyone's stats increase against Ledin by 50%. Great. Um, let's see. Assassins is not on the list. So, if Ledin isn't going to be able to tank anyway, should we just go YOLO and attack? Hmm... The problem is, um, my alternative tank is Vargas, and he's not completely ready as in his bonds aren't quite there yet. Um, but we don't really have a choice now, do we? Same inflated stats. Okay, let's just see how this goes with Ledin tanking. Uh, I don't think it's gonna go very well. But let's see, let's just try. Okay. Danger zone is there, let's move forward. So that we have as, as much room to strike as possible. Um, Liana moves forward so that she can apply again. Leon's the main striker, so obviously he'll move forward. Uh, should I save my faction buff? 
Yeah, why not? Probably won't be attacking Ultimula next turn either. It's just gonna be a one-man show as usual. Okay. Uh, Ultimula really wants to attack, doesn't he? Catapult comes forward, Archer comes forward. Oh dear. Okay. So he's not within range. Uh, that's a small blessing there. Oh dear. I'm gonna have to tank the demon unit uh, this turn. So my aim is to attack blessing. Uh, wait, hold on, sorry, let me just think. Um, we are gonna divine guard up. Ultimul is gonna faction buff. Tiaris is gonna attack blessing. Leon is gonna go do his thing. He's not gonna kill the Leviathan in one shot again, you know. I don't I definitely don't expect that. But he's gonna severely weaken it. So the question is, do I dare to leave him? Do I dare to attack one of the further targets, such as the skeleton archer that's here? And I don't think I can. He has forget, so Leon is actually vulnerable if he stands in this spot. Uh yeah. So the plan is to just kill off the Leviathan and then um, tank the Demon Knight and hopefully with the inherent advantage that Lenny gets against Demon units he should not be able to... He, I mean he'll be able to survive the hit. So let's see how my theory works out. The archers are gonna AoE unfortunately. Wow that's a really 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 painful AoE. Okay, so um, letting goes. Oh wow, one hit. Okay, so they definitely weren't kidding when they said um, stats increased by 50%. So it looks like I really might have to uh, really might have to switch tanks. Um, let's try something new. We're gonna try to back up one square so that we are not within range of that archer's nasty AoE. Okay, so we knew that that was the exact square that she could target with the AoE, which resulted in massive damage to Leon, though to Ledin, sorry. So same thing, attack blessing. Ledin is gonna move one square backwards. Ultimate is gonna faction buff. And we are going to attack with assault. So this round we should be out of range of the archer. One unit down, one, two, three, four, five, six to go. <laughs> Great. Okay, so let's see if Leden can tank this one. If he can't tank it at full health, then obviously there's no choice but to get a new tank. Ah! Great! He lives! <laughs> he lives! He lives! So do I have to do lame things like run away until we get our... again? It certainly looks like we do. Um, okay, so Liana comes here. Uh, gets rid of Ledin's movement down, hopefully. Yes, Ledin moves away. Uh, you have Chivalry Assault, but you are going to die to the follow-up attacks, so I don't really want you to die. I like you a bit too much for that. Then we should be out of danger zone. Here we are, with one square allowance for the AoE skill from that nasty little archer. Okay, they're coming in single file. That really works out well for me. 
because uh, it ensures that oh no the catapult can hit me as well great just great hmm One, two, three. So can yeah. So I'm looking at Liana Square, because that's where um, Leon will be retreating to. And unfortunately, is within range. Just needed one turn. Okay, let's just try to play this out uh, to its logical conclusion. Um, we're just gonna run. <laughs> so glamorous. Um I might have made a fatal error. Uh because Leon is in trees. Okay anyway, finally we have the full combo. Um let's just do this. See how many we can take down with us. Okay, that's one down. Legend's gonna move up here, provide cover. So Legend's gonna move up, and as I, as you heard me mumbling to myself, provide cover for Ultimula, who will be hitting the. Necromancer. I, I don't expect him to kill. Yep, as expected, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> Ultimula, you beautiful little thing. Okay, so Necromancer down. That's good. Uh, attack Blessing for Leon. To guarantee the kill is just what do I want to kill. Um... Probably the assassin, but I can't reach the assassin, so I have to make do with the catapult. Unfortunately. Catapult's down. Um, and oh! Great. And the best part about what the assassin did is that... Um, wow! That was a really crazy tentacle. Okay, so I'm going to have to tank the squid. Um, Ultimulus ha has to faction buff. Or Leon won't have any teeth. Uh, and Leon has to freaking kill this thing. Please die, assassin. Please die. Oh, come on. So I'm not actually using clock because you know, um, because Tiaris would have died to the squid anyway. Maybe it's time for some gear upgrades for her. Okay, so I did a rewind. Um, the recording software bugged out, so um, that's why it's sort of weird now. Ultimula again is gonna hit. The Necromancer, I don't really know whether I'll get such a lucky Gale proc again. Nope, I didn't. Of course I didn't. Oh, I did. Great. Okay. So Tiaris, now that I know that this bugger is gonna... Uh, try to tentacle me, I'm gonna stand here. I think Liana's gear is slightly more upgraded than... Uh, Tiaris, so hopefully she manages to survive the tentacle that we know is coming. And we're gonna try to kill the assassin with attack blessing and chivalry. This works. So what we changed up was that we killed the assassin instead of the catapult. And hopefully that makes a difference. Okay, Ledin tanks that just fine. 
Oh, that's nasty, but she survives. Oh, I, I see now. Basically, um, it's because of the stat bonus that they get. Uh, that they get against holy units. My my healers are obviously all holy units, so. Uh, that's why they got hit so hard with the tentacle. We've survived that, so we don't have to worry about tentacle for another two or three turns. Let's hit the catapult. Catapult dies. That's good. Let in fact. Oh no. Um, Liana heals herself. Okay. Let in faction buffs. Now we have to survive the squid attack. Should be fine. Um, we've let in at full health. Yep, it is. Uh, we are going to hit the squid, who does not have his title search. And that's SS2 completed. We abuse the clock, of course, but that's what your 99 cents a month is for. 